Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's your boy, King Sanders here, and we are back with another day of sports betting. This is going to be for Wednesday, June 1st slate of MLB action. I'm super excited to dive into it. Once again, we do have a pretty full slate of MLB, um, so I am excited to watch that and you know get everything ready to go. But we have a big day tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be Game 1 of the NBA Finals. I, of course, do have some plays that I'm already considering, plays that I'm already looking at. But obviously, I have to wait until the lines do fully get confirmed um, to make sure that there is no line movement or anything crazy like that. But I am excited for the NBA Finals. Obviously, that is the that is one of my favorite times of the year, NBA playoffs just in general. So the finals are obviously nothing short of that. Um, as you guys can see, I'm you know no longer in the setting that I was in previously. I am now back in my normal setup. However, the camera is still off of my MacBook because I am trying to get everything set back up right now. I'm still having some issues getting the lighting and stuff like that set up. Um, I'm having issues re-hooking back up my PC, so just a couple different things here and there that are kind of hindering me, but at the same time, we're at least making strides. We are no longer... We're no longer in the setting that we were in. We are back in our original setting. So hopefully hopefully this brings us some good luck. Um, we did end up having a pretty good week overall um, record-wise, but hopefully we can go ahead and improve that as of this week. Um, so, or the, I guess however you want to look at it, we're kind of in the middle of the week now. But um, but let's go ahead and do a quick recap. Oh, and one more thing, one more thing. Sorry, really quick. Um well, first, we are still on the road to 7,000 subscribers, so if you guys are new, make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Next, I did just want to go ahead and give a quick shout out here to all of our members here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for everything that you guys do, and thank you guys so much for giving me such a small channel such a big chance, as I always say. Um, the only other thing is, we do only have two plays today. Um, the reason being is just to be able to bankroll manage until um, the NBA playoffs, or the M NBA Finals starts up tomorrow, so um, I do only have two plays today. I really like both the plays, but I do only have two of them, so I wanted to go ahead and give a heads up just really quick before we started the recap, before we dove into the plays, I wanted to let you guys know that there are only two right now, so I'm sure there are plenty of other you know people that you can go ahead and watch to get other ideas on plays as well if you don't like one of mine, but personally, I found two plays that I really, really like, so we're going to be... That's what we're going to be rolling with. But first, let's go ahead and do a quick recap. As of yesterday, we did end up giving back after we had the sweep. Um, so we did end up giving back, which is okay. We ended up going one and two on the day. So we did have the Twins and Tigers under eight and a half runs. Um, and that one wasn't even close. Um, it was definitely a not a very great bet. Um, well, I all the stats were back in it, so I'm fine with losing. Um I'm fine with losing a bet that all the that all the stats are on, but at the same time they were just um, the Twins. They were just absolutely crushing baseballs. They I think they had eight runs by themselves. Finished with ten, so they finished just just over the top. And then um, we did have the White Sox plus one and a half versus the Toronto Blue Jays, and that one did end up working out for us. It was a little bit juiced. It was at minus one forty, but it ended up working out for us. Um, so I'm glad that one did. And then we did have the Padres money line the St. Louis Cardinals hit a walk off to um to win the game. So there's just really nothing that you could do in the 10th inning by the way. So there's really nothing that you can do. Um that one was just very very unfortunate. So it is what it is though. We ended up going 1 and 2 after a clean sweep the day before. So I will excuse me. I will definitely take that. I'm okay with that any day of the week. So let's go ahead and dive into our two plays today. Our first play of the day we're taking the Mets team total over in the first five. So the Mets team total over run line at, or line as of right now is set to two and a half. Um, so they just have to get three runs in the first five innings, and it's at minus 130 versus the Nationals. Now the Mets, they do average three runs per game in the first five innings, which is fourth best in the entire MLB. But at home this year, they're even better. They average 3.77 um in the first in the first five innings, which is the best in the entire MLB, so they do a really good job at getting at scoring runs at home this year. And Washington, they have their defense has not really been very great. They actually give up the most runs per game in the entire MLB, 
and they are starting a pitcher that has never pitched in the MLB before. His name is Evan Lee, and this is going to be his MLB debut versus a very good Mets team. So I think that there is going to be a lot of jitters there. Um, I think we're going to be seeing the bullpen a little bit earlier than normal. Um, I think that Mr. Evan may have a rough time here. And so hopefully the Mets can go ahead and get uh, three runs for us in the first five innings. So that's our first play of the day. Mets team total over two and a half runs in the first five at minus 130 versus the Nationals. Now for our second play of the day, we're going to be taking the Arizona, we're taking Arizona and Atlanta under nine runs at minus 115 odds. Now for Atlanta, a lot of times they have been really good to the over, but the only time that you really want to target Atlanta to an under is on the road. Um, on the road, they are 11, 10, and 1 to the under, so it's not like it's anything crazy. It's not like it's you know a huge edge, but I think we see a ton of value here from the Arizona side of things, and let me explain why. Arizona at home this year to the under is 28 and 1 um, to the under at home this year. So I think that does speak a lot of volume. They've been really good um, on defense just in general when it comes to being at home. And also as a home underdog this year, which in this case they are, um, they are 14, 5, and 1 to the under. So I think that we do see a ton of value here for the Arizona side of things. Not as much on the Atlanta, but I think this is also a great pitching matchup as well. Madison Bumgarner is going to be on the mound with a 3.2 ERA at home, so he has been very, very solid. And Kyle Wright is going to be on the mound for the flip side of things with a 2.65 ERA on the road. So both of these pitchers have been a pretty good pitchers just in general. So hopefully that does end up working out for us. So that's going to be our second play of the day. Arizona and Atlanta under nine runs at minus 115 knots. So that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Um, everything should be back up to normal as of tomorrow. I'm going to be working pretty much all day today to try to get my monitor to try to get my PC and stuff set back up, so that way you guys can get the traditional videos. Um, but I, it's just it's just giving me fits right now, and I just wanted to make sure that I got something out for for you guys. So that is going to do it for me. This is King Center signing out. Peace.